Hello, and welcome back to Music Theory for Worship. Let's review our catechism, shall we? What is music theory? The theory of what makes music work. Work. And what drives Western music? Scale degree tendencies plus base law equals PAC, perfect authentic cadence. We're going to add to that catechism today by asking the question, what drives jazz? That answer is going to be 2 Five one that progression, or more accurately, two seven five seven. Now, why is it that a two chord would want to go to a five chord? In particular, a two seven chord want to resolve to a five seven chord. That makes no sense. If you think in the key of C, when you have a two seven chord in the soprano part, you have that seventh. That's the pitch C. Hmm. Why would that want to resolve to a B? Didn't we already say that a B is the most unstable note? Yeah, we and did. C is the most stable note? We did. What could possibly pull a C away in order to go to a B? Well, there are a couple different reasons. Oh, One clear. is bass law. Bass law, that, of course. That a two, two to the five would want to go to a five. Up a fourth. Mm -hmm. The other one is that you have a 2-7 chord, you have your bass on a D and your melody on a C, that C that is a dissonance, that 7th, and it's going to want to resolve. So we might call that a localized intervallic tendency, that dissonance okay. that wants to resolve. I like that verbiage. <laughs> That's fancy. Localized intervallic tendency, or L-I-T, we Lit. like to say. Litany. Charles Lytton. So the truth is, though we've spent all this time saying what drives Western music, and we said scale degree tendencies, that the, uh, the uh, unstable notes want to resolve to stable ones, the rest of the music up until that cadence is all driven by localized intervallic. Well, let's illustrate this. Shall we? How could we best understand localized intervallic tendencies? Love games? Love games. A love triangle, if you mm. will. Oh, we will. Let's do a three, six, two, five, one progression that we see in jazz all the time. Okay? We said two, five, one. We'll just extend that out. Three, six, two, five, one. Three, Fair six, enough. two, five, one. Just using those three voices, and you can see the music there. When we have a three chord, we're in the key of C, three, and then we have a G and a D. What interval is E to G? I'd say a, a compound third. Oh, okay, this is third. That's consonant. That's, that's good. No that's problem good. there. Oh, what is an E to a D? Ooh, that's a compound seventh. That's trouble. Yeah, it's dissonant, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yeah, no matter how you like dissonant. It wants to resolve in some way. Okay. Now, the soprano part. When the soprano senses there's a dissonance with the bass, what's the soprano going to do? Well, uh, she's going to want to resolve it. She's resolve got a seven. that tension. Just step on down, step on down, make it a sixth. Seven to six. And she could do that all day. That's a little suspension action. And that's nice. And if he would only cooperate and just stay put, all would be well. End of story. There it is. But that's not what happens. The bass does what a man knows to do. I think there's a problem. I'm not sure what it is. I guess I should go up a fourth. Go up a fourth. Just, I'll follow bass. Just go up a fourth. That's what I do. So the bass went up a fourth, which is what he knows how to do. And so now things are resolved. You know, he didn't know where he was going or how that was going to make anything better by going up before. But as it turns out, because she went down and he went up, they created an A to C. Which is a third. A third. She thought she was making a sixth. Uh, he didn't know what he was doing. They wound up with a third. Consonant. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a problem, however. Bass to alto had already been a third. Uh, so there was no need for the alto to move. Suddenly, mm. he jumps, 
She didn't know he was going to jump. He jumps. Now what do we have between the alto and the bass? Ooh, you got a seventh in there. Seventh. We just so saw that. All's resolved with that. the soprano, but now we've got a problem with the alto. So how are they going to resolve it? They've got a seventh. Well, she's just going to step on down, go down to the sixth. So seven to six. What's he going to do? Who's going to go up a fourth? I've got more problems. I've got to go up a fourth. So he jumps up a fourth. Oh, hey, that created a third. All is well. Ah, very nice. But all had been well. With the soprano before, there was a third. Oh, yeah. So she didn't so know she not, had to move. Suddenly, he's in a different place. Oh, no. Got a seventh between the bass and the soprano. So, what's she going to do? She's going to resist. Yeah. Step on She's going to go down. Step on he's going to follow bass a lot. Going up gonna a fourth. Go now, suddenly, we get to this 5 7 chord. Can you feel it? Ooh. Alto's on four. Tritone between on the women. Seventh, tritone between the women. Bass on five. Everybody wants to just ah, resolve. We finally had nice. resolution. But until then, we had a love triangle. Mm -hmm. With this tension, constant tension that uh, kept driving us forward. This goes to show, men, you can't please two women. Can't be done. Bigamy is a bad idea. Yes. Not to mention it'd be rather, well, big of you. It would be big of me yeah. to have two wives, but it would cause all kinds of trouble. I'd be in a heap of trouble trying to please two women at the same time. So just take that as a word to the wise. There you go. You only try to please one woman? Life is like this. Try to please two women? Always in conflict with somebody. Hey -o. <laughs> In any case, that's a way to describe it. Uh, jazz music is all about this. Two, Two five four. one. You all find it time. everywhere. All we'll illustrate it. In a world of trouble, I don't know what to do. I'm supposed to be one woman's man. But I 